it looks like these teams have not claimed any tiles yet. There is a clearer stage with either only snipers or only casters. Maybe that is what the Typhon is. Right there, there you go. There is clearer stage with either only snipers or casters. I see they're trying to pull five enemies into this oh! hole with Gabriel the Invincible. I feel like they're just going to get murderized. Is, is that the right skill? It is, and they are not being pulled because they are stuck inside the, the rocks. Box. We've got something interesting going on. Lose all HP and step one inside an emergency, not on floor one. It looks like this is what they're going for with the emergency uh, don't turn around sluggies. And there we go. There you go. Do you think they can pull this off? I don't know, this is pretty scary. The Demon's Blade has just been like slaughtering that front line. This boss kind of counters Texas Alter a little bit. There's one enemy left and that is not the best Typhon placement that I've ever seen in my life. Team Perogen is getting stalled by the presence of a large polar bear in the arena, but I wonder, oh, I think they just got have an operator die in one hit from max HP with that polar bear. They do have the E2 Ling, so you can see Ling is- It's basically like Ling and her kindergarten of, of reserve operators at the moment. It's only Ling. Hold up. Team Sai and the kid have claimed clear a stage, have at least five operators whose name starts with the same letter, even if their name is all reserve oh, operator. No. No, <laughs> I mean, it's all... legal. Anyways, hold on. It looks like Ling is unga bunga ing her way to victory. Have they just taken the lead back again? Uh, we have to finish this stage as quickly as possible. Are both of the bosses down? We just got row two, column three. Looks like literally overpowered got the tile declaration. They killed the boss later, but they actually got the tile they instead. Filed they filed their paperwork faster. Wow. Team Boiling Sanity is just kind of going back. They just pick up the W once again, looking for that stun tile, I guess. And there it is. Stun three more enemies at the same time. Uh, Prisoner's Night, very easy. There's so many enemies on this stage, and W loves it when there's tons of enemies in front of her, and she just blasts them all into oblivion, so it's a perfect time for her. Kafka, kind of notorious for being that operated that you leave at E1. As someone who has Kafka maxed and full modded, I do pay my Kafka a living wage, and she also has uh, dental <laughs> and health insurance. And now I'm wondering, like, just how much micromanaging is the Navigator hypothetically doing in this situation? Left of Kafka, left of Kafka, left of Kafka, Texas. And then... I'm gonna wait to wait passenger and then put it next, right next to right of Ansel. Might have made a mistake with the deployment order, but okay, go, go, go. We'd like to claim row four, column four. Is that Team Pocky coming back? Yeah, Team behind? Pocky. Oh man. Good job, Flames, good job. Wake those two guys up with Project Red and then leak them. Make sure to stun as much of them as possible. Right now, right now, right now, right now. We would like to claim um, stun four or my enemies at the same time. We got double tile claim uh, from Fab Knight and Way Hazel. I would like to claim row one, column one. Meanwhile, it looks like Inabis and Lostrian have taken finish the stage while having four operators facing in the same direction. They have to be very careful with this because it is clear a stage with exactly one of each rarity. It does look like Inabus's team has realized, but it is Shady Frozen Sea, I mean... Why is this map a thing and can I go home? I would like to claim row 4 column 1 and row 1 column 4. And here's Typhon coming up. Yes. And Here we Reed go, they're retreating Reed, and it's just the two Sarcas hitting! That looks good! It looks like Inaba's team got the 69 DP dial, so really, <laughs> who's coming out ahead here? Really, who's coming really out ahead here? Block him while he's about to leave. So all they have to do is beat it in the blue box. They don't have to clear the stage. They just have to win. Uh, claim row three, column four. It looks like Inabas and Lustrian lost to that stage and... They did get the three operators dying, but right as the winners defeated a Sarkaz enemy, we're down to three! The Spectre could have the stun and she is completely invincible. Here we go. No, 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 she's down with Hibiscus Altar! Hibiscus Altar! Hibiscus Altar. Uh, clears it. Clears it, and it is one point in the winner's favor, eight to seven. It looks like we've got some confirmation that Rapid's team has taken one point by clearing a stage with only defenders or vanguards. The lower row block, yeah, rope there, wild main face right. As many in the hole as you can. Uh, that's push or pull an enemy without using a specialist operator, and that's push five enemies into holes. Waste Kings claiming clear a stage with Tainted Carcass without triggering their movement boost, but they're still going to have to do a lot of catch up, especially if the Firewatch fans manage to get this two point tile. I hate to grab your attention, but look, it's a FIA meta. So, column two, row four. Uh, stop the Mafia. Yeah, stop the Mafia, guys. You can let like, leak two, it's fine. Leak three, the same enemy, three slugs. 
Kill 10th enemy with 3 star. Four tiles already. Clear Dubai, is there a character limit as opposed to the one from Woodbusters? Who's gonna fight Cannot and lose? That is the Cannot fight. I can hear Asa right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I need you to take the Cannot fight and I need you to not do anything. And I can also imagine Asa saying, all right, good job, because there's another point on the board for them. It's currently five to one. Losing the Cannot fight, it doesn't mean that they will have to restart, unfortunately. It's eight to two. And can, I can think really that is it? time. Goody five and Cookie Kaze, who will be commentating the following matches. Ebby and Yotes will be versing Sidask and Random Kid in the Hood. Noel and Arcane versus Flames and Kevin Goaty. On the right here, you can see it is Way Hazel and Fab Knight versus Lafik and Rapid. Vien and Murray and Tobo versus Bait and Asadekai. And yes, could be wrong on that, but nonetheless, it's going to be incredible.